With Bibles, you can show scripture on the fly or add it to an existing presentation. And in ProPresenter 7, you can now show multiple translations of scripture at the same time. To access Bibles, let's go to the main toolbar and click on Bible. Below here, we can look up scripture using the drop-down menu or simply by typing in a scripture passage. You can also search all of scripture for keywords or phrases. Then below there, you can choose which translation you're currently using. And the next two dropdowns have to do with which text box in your current theme is being used for the verse and for the reference. To see more of these options, let's go over and click on options. And here you'll see all of our different slide options. We have options to show our verse numbers, break on new verses, display translations, preserve font colors like red letter text, and this right side has to do with our verse references, whether or not we want it on each slide, the last slide, or no reference at all. Below there, we can choose from different themes, and finally, we can choose which library do we want new Bible presentations to import to. To add and install new Bibles, simply click on Bibles, and you can see all of your purchased Bibles, or click to add a free Bible or get new Bibles. Now applying new themes is really easy. So all we have to do is click on theme and we can go down and I created this scripture theme and I have a single scripture right here and you'll see that it reformats my scripture. And now anytime I look up a new verse in our Bibles area, it's going to use this theme. But in ProPresenter 7, we can show more than one translation at a time. But this requires themes with multiple text boxes. So the first thing we need to do is choose a theme that has multiple text boxes. I created one with four different text boxes, one for each verse and one for each reference. So I'm gonna select this dual scripture theme and now we can go and add in a new translation. So I'm gonna click add here and this will add in a new translation. I can choose from my translations and now I need to choose from this verse drop-down box which text box my second verse is going to use. You'll see the yellow boxes represent each text box on your slide. So I have a text box on the top and the bottom for verses and I have reference text boxes on the top and bottom. So I'm going to use this text box for my second verse and I'm going to use this text box for my second reference. And now you'll see we have two different translations showing on the same slide at the same time. Now let's say that we wanted to actually show an English translation and a Spanish translation on the same slide. Now this is really easy. All we have to do is find a Spanish translation of the Bible, and now we have English on top and that Spanish translation on the bottom. And again, we can reformat this with different themes really quickly and easily. So I'm gonna go back to themes, click on scripture, and I'm gonna choose this other dual scripture theme that I created that has side-by-side -side text, and I really like how that looks. Now we can either just click on this to show it right now, or we could add this as its own presentation or to a currently selected presentation. We do that by going down here and clicking on Save As. Here we can save it as its own presentation, or we can copy to a selected presentation, or we can save it to a current playlist. I wanna to copy to my currently selected presentation, which is my teaching notes. Now we can click on show, go back to our presentation, and we'll see our dual scripture translation added to our slides.